In this problem, it says that James wants to pour concrete in a uniform width around a rectangular pool. So here's our pool. So it has water in it. And we want to pour concrete around it. And it says that it's uniform. So what that means is all the way around it's the same. So whatever, however wide this is right here, it's going to be the same width as this right here. So it's uniform. It's the same. This is the same width all the way around. It's not going to get skinnier. It's the same all the way around. So my picture is not the greatest, but it's the same all the way through. Okay. So it tells us that the pool measures 20 feet by 50 feet. So we have 50 feet by 20 feet. Okay. And so if we know from this corner to this corner, if we know that this is 20, then from here to here along the walkway, then we know this is 20 because it's the same length as this pool right here. But we don't know what this piece is. don't know what this measurement is here. So we're going to go ahead and call that, instead of a question mark, we're going to call that x. And this is the distance, the width, of the walkway right here that we don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and let x in this problem represent the width of the walkway. So if from here to here we don't know it, and that's x, then from here to here, this length here is x. So that would make the whole side then, you have 20 plus x, so this x plus this x. So then if we combine the like terms, we can call that 20 plus 2x. So instead we can write this as 20 plus 2x. Okay, now this side over here, from here to here, that's the measurement of the pool right here. So from here to here, this is 50 feet. But we don't know what how far it is from here to here, and we said that that's going to be x. That's the width of this walkway right here. And we don't know what this is right here. So then all together, we'd have this x plus this 50 plus this x. So if we combine like terms, we would get 2x plus 50. Okay, so now we know what the dimensions are, this side and this side of the entire backyard area. We now have the dimensions of the length and the width, and we have the dimensions of the length and the width of the pool. So now that we know the dimensions, we have to think about, it tells us that we want to pour concrete around the pool, so we know that all around it's 800 square feet. But what I just shaded in around the pool, the walkway, that's not a geometric shape, that's not a rectangle, but it is part of a rectangle. This whole entire rectangle right here, if we take out the pool, we're left with just the walkway. So what we're gonna have to do is find the area of the entire rectangle. And we need to know a little bit of geometry to do this, so we need to know how to find the area of a rectangle. So an area, the area of a rectangle is you take the length times the width. So let's start with the area of the pool. So to find the area of the pool, we have to take the length, which is 50, so length times width, and then we multiply it by the width of the pool, which is 20. Okay, now the area of the whole entire shape the whole entire rectangle, this whole entire thing, we have to take the side length here and multiply it by the length and the width there. So we have to take the 
20 plus 2x side and multiply it to the 50 plus 2x side. So if we take the area of this whole entire rectangle, and then it says in our formula here, subtract. So if we subtract out the pool, then this will equal just the concrete. And it says that there's 800 square feet. So 800. So a little bit of review with geometry. When something's labeled, right here if we look, it's 800 square feet. When something's labeled with the little 2 right there, we know it's area. So that's why we had to find the area. We had to use the area formula for the whole thing. And then we had to subtract out the water. So that's what's going on here. So we're going to have to use a lot of skills from this chapter to solve this problem here. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do, and go ahead and foil this. So go ahead and do that. So we're going to have 20 times 50, 20 times 2x, and then we're going to have 2x times 50, and then 2x times 2x. And then over here we're going to multiply negative 50 times 20 is negative 1,000. Then we're going to combine our like terms here. That will make zero. And then we're left with 4x squared and then plus 100x. Oops, actually, before we do that, we can combine these two together here. They're both x terms. So we can put plus 140x. And then we bring down equals the 800. OK, so now we've completely simplified. And now we're going to solve this equation. So to solve this equation, one thing we could do is since 4 goes into F, 4 goes into all the terms, we can divide everything by 4 to make the numbers a little bit nicer, smaller. Okay. When we solve an equation that has an exponent, we want it to equal 0. So that's why we're going to go ahead and subtract 200. So again, when we're solving equations that have exponents, we want it to equal 0, which it does. So then we're going to go ahead and factor. Since there's 1, 2, 3 terms, we're going to go ahead and make the rainbow here. We need to think of what multiplies to negative 200, and it has to add to 35. You can go ahead and pause the video and come up with those two numbers. So we know that it has to add to 35, so we know that that means the bigger number in our list is positive, so the smaller one must be negative. And if 40 was positive and 5 was negative, it would equal positive 35, and it would multiply to negative 200. So those are the two numbers we're going to go ahead and choose. So we're going to have x times x, because x times x will get us the x squared. And then we're going to put our negative 5 and our positive 40. And then we're going to set each factor equal to 0. So x minus 5 equals 0, and x plus 40 equals 0. So we get x equals 5, and we get x equals negative 40. So if we go back to our picture here, x represented, so I should have done this in the beginning of the problem, x represents the width of the walkway. So I should have, again, bad, bad on my part, I should have declared what the variable was in the first place. So but I do have it here in the picture that x represents here the width of this walkway, the width of it. So if we get x equals 5, that's possible, but you can't have a negative width. So this is ex we call that extraneous when it doesn't make sense in the context of the problem. And if we go back, it was um, measured in feet. So the width of the walkway 
has to be five feet in order for there to be a walkway with 800 square feet of concrete around this pool here.